Before we started, I said, I need to wash my hands, and then everyone laughed. <laughs> it's the return of the Mac, and by that I mean the Big Mac. You may have seen me make a fancy Big Mac with Rhett and Link back in 2018. No, don't save the pickles! But today, Stevie and I are attempting to create an even fancier version of that burger. How many blonde hairs do you think we'll be eating today? Will she enjoy all my fun facts about Eurovision? What's his name? You all know him. Zdob si Zdob. We got an industrial sized juicer and a couple duck carcasses, so you know we're ready for some fancy cooking. You really gotta crank it. Hold! Oh my god! Yeah! Hey there, can I do uh, two Big Macs, please? You want anything else? Two Big Macs? Uh, do you want the meal or just a sandwich? You want the meal or just a sandwich? Do you want to, get, you want to have a meal, uh, No, I just want the purity of just the, just the Big Macs. Just, just the purity of the Big Macs, please. Stevie, welcome to my car. Thank you, I've been in it for a bit as we've gone through the drive-thru to, to get this. I forgot about that. <laughs> Stevie, you can take one souvenir from my car oh. when you go, just not the protein shaker, because I need that. Um, you know what, I'll have to look around and see what I want to take. I did um, open this air vent for, I believe, the first time, and yes. I did receive some kind of crumbs. That does count as your souvenir. Me. Now you okay. can't have an empty kombucha bottle. Great, great. All right. Big Mac for you. It has been a minute since I've had a Big Mac. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. A Big Mac is not my thing. No, like, it's not my go-to thing. But I will say about the Big Mac, I respect the hell out of it mm -hmm. because it's so different and innovative in a world where burgers are all the same. The Big Mac came in and said no. We're gonna do two patties, we're gonna do bread in the middle, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do a special sauce. And I respect that it, it made such a bold choice. No, the original choice was made by a Pittsburgh franchisee to feed hungry steel mill workers. Oh. Yeah, I mentioned the Big Mac, but then it was perfected by me, Rhett, and Link in January of 2019 when we did the original Fancy Big Mac. Of course. Which was almost my debut on GMM, assuming you never watched Will It Burger. Now I've mentioned them, so mm -hmm. I'm highlighting it even more. Yeah. You know what? It's a good burger. I don't order it for myself, mm -hmm. but like, if someone ordered me one, like you just did, I wouldn't say no. You're welcome, by the way. I was fishing for that. <laughs> the Big Mac is, it's a very well-executed sandwich. And I think when we did the original fancy fast food, we hit the mark as good as we can, but we didn't make it like quite Big Mac -y enough, and that's something, something I want to hit now. Like, you, there's like a double challenge today because mm -hmm. not only do you have to fancy fi the Big Mac, you have to fancier fi than your first mm -hmm. fancy fi. This is so, a fancy squared fast food. Yeah. It's a lot to cut through there. Oh, wow. Oh, Ooh. my. Oh my. Look at that. Layered goodness of Big Mac fanciness. There were approximately two minutes and 13 seconds of cooking action in that video. We actually went back and timed it. It was like a five minute video. Really? Yes. Oh, YouTube was different back then. YouTube was so different. There was a yellow border around the video. It was crazy, but we've learned so much since then about how to make videos six times longer, yeah. but then also how to cook food more better so now we're gonna try and make it even bigger, even better, even fancier, but also a little cooler. Show off our own techniques and show off our brand new mythical kitchen cook today who's gonna help me make pickles. You gonna make pickles? I do know how to make pickles. I was really, I'm nervous to be here because there's there's a couple reasons why. One, I'm afraid you're gonna make a reference that I have no idea what it is. I will. Um, and then also I was afraid you were gonna make me chop stuff because I know what I'm supposed to do, but then I don't wanna do that and I can't get my hands to do that. But I see that these are pre-chopped and um, you reference some mythical content. So we're off to a good start. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Speaking of references, Dolce & Gabbana's 2005 campaign, Summer mm. Resort Series, we're talking day to night. It was all about lemons. Day to night. Day I to thought night. you said day to night. Not no no day to night. I was like, what a what a provocative yes. theme for <laughs> Dolce. <laughs> so that's why we're going with limoncello pickles right here. One, this was Nicole's idea. Do you think I know about I the Dolce Nicole. and Gabbana? No. But now we have many more different influences in the mythical kitchen. This is how cooking gets made. Nicole, thank you for that. Uh, all right, see, so we got some Persian cucumbers right here. We've salted them. Pick, pick, it, pick, it, pick it up, okay. pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You know the ready to pickle, we rub salt in there. If you can fold it in half and it doesn't snap, but it bends. 
Yeah, Looks that's like it. they're ready. Start chucking them in there. That means the salt has actually gotten into the cell walls. It's broken it down. That's that signature pickle crisp. You go ahead and palm heel strike some garlic. You palm heel strike at home, I assume? Of course. Every day. And how, wait, but how many palm heel strike t-shirts have you bought? All of them. At, All of them. At mythical.com. You're, uh, I've done this part. Yes. But then you said two other things and now I... Peppercorns, into the jar. Okay. Easy. Because peppercorns add... Pepper. Goddamn right they do. Uh, take, the palm, take the garlic, palm heel strike it. I can, I can show you, I can do a one demo. one at a time? Oh no! Yeah, yeah, you're gonna want to dump half on the ground. That's a, that's a really great Only one, step. I only got one on the ground. No, it's good luck. It's an old like Ligurian, uh, Ligurian superstition. All right, so palm heel strike, just a quick. <laughs> you want to put the garlic down flat, stack the palm over the elbow, and then you just go ahead and ice, and it's then like you get CPR. it nice and crushed. It's exactly like CPR, except you're trying to imagine if you're doing CPR, but you're trying to kill the small child. But I can't do a two-handed really count through it. Version. You can do two-handed. I'm very weak. <laughs> this is no, just, it's a mental fortitude thing. This is just thing. bone. <laughs> these are these are bone. Ha! That was good. And now you can just scrape that hair. Just just put. Just, and just, and just get it. Just, I did it before we started. I said I need to wash my hands, and then everyone laughed. <laughs> Limoncello, this is a oh, lovely God. Italian lemon liqueur. Here, keep, keep going, I'm just gonna throw that in there. We're gonna get some of that in there. We want a little bit of that liquor flavor, but a lot of that sweet syrupiness. We're not adding any additional sugar to this. And then we're gonna go ahead, add in. Doucher de vinaigre au citron. Mm. Lemon vinegar, Italian lemon vinegar. That's how you know it's fancy. It's kind of. How much of this? Eh, like a lot. Shake it, do the hurricane technique. Just a lot of douche. There we go, a lot of douche. Listen, like, what are you gonna do with a little douche? You can't take it with you, you know what I mean? Uh, and now preserved lemon. You ever had preserved lemon? Hold on, don't touch don't the know. knife. Don't touch the knife? Oh, don't like, don't let me stab you is what I said. Oh, That's oh, a oh. very like passive verb for I should not stab you. You should eat that. So this is a whole lemon that you pack in salt. Thank you. L'chaim. Woo! Pungent. Woo! That's nice, right? Woo! Really got you going. Oh, just every every bite down is a new experience. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of new experiences here. Check that in there. Stevie, throw in the herbs and then put in all that boiling water in there. Oh, and then just toss whole? them in. Toss them in. That's just to flavor it. Does it matter what herbs you put in this? Nope, any. They're all the same. Okay. Birds are spies for the government. All herbs are the same. Those are the oh, two gosh. things I believe. You're gonna make me zest a lemon on camera? No, I'm gonna empower you to zest a lemon on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I saw that, because before I was a zester that zested all over, mm -hmm. and I saw that you should be a stripe zester. That's what Nicole does, and I disagree with it. I call oh. myself like a tornado zester. Okay, well, I, how do you, I just how thrash do you do at that? it. So what I do is I kind of go here, and I blindly just start like swinging around like that, and then I swirl the lemon like a tornado, and it's way less efficient, and you get a worse product. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but you should do it Nicole's way, because that looks way better. Might get a yeah, little Yeah, that looks like way more finger. chefy. That's what like real chefs do. Really? <laughs> yeah, this I lied about all my qualifications on my resume. I'm not a real chef. This is a much nicer zester than the zester I have. You want I have you the, take it. Um, really? 20 bucks. What we do is um, just for us to supplement our incomes, we take mythical kitchen equipment and we just sell it off. <laughs> when you went to school dances growing up, did they tell you no freak dancing? And then you went, what is freak dancing? And they were like, well, we can't tell you now. And you're like, but I want to know. I won't do it. I just want to know. And to this day, I don't know what freak dancing is. I don't know what freak dancing is. Does anybody know what freak dancing is? Nicole. Nicole. It's dancing. Do I turn this off? But like, what do you mean? Well, is there still water in it? Yeah, you want to pour that in there? <laughs> I'm just going to do that. Yeah, that's a good move. Just fill it up. Because we got a lot of vinegar in there. We got a lot of salt. We got a lot of sugar. Um, we have all our bun ingredients in here. I'm going to take a bunch of goose fat. That's a lot of goose fat. Do you want me to mix this in any kind of way, or you just want me to not touch it and leave it? Ah, stigazzi. Just leave it? Okay. Ah, stigazzi. Okay. Stigazzi. In Italian, it means, uh, can I say, okay, I would have to curse to say it, but my Italian soccer hooligan roommates kept going stigazzi, and then I asked them what that means, and they go, you have to bleep a lot, I'm sorry. They said, it means, uh, why f you look on me? Uh, who f are you? Why f I care? And then that's what they said stigazzi means. Why f you look on me? Yeah, they their English got better as time went on. <laughs> we got our buns outsourced the first time we did this. We got it from Lodge Bread Co., still friends of the show. We love them to death. But now we got Trevor. And mm. Trevor has invented this lovely tahina goose fat bun. 
that we're gonna go ahead and let knead for a minute and then we're gonna cover it, we're gonna let it proof. How do you feel about frozen fat and goose liver? I feel great, but while this is doing its thing, can we freak dance? I don't know if legally we're allowed to. If we're talking about Lisa coming in, because there was, I mean, I mean it Nicole was, come you know what I mean? Nicole, come in. Tell us that. Nicole, Nicole, this would mean a lot to me. You didn't have to say that you knew how to freak dance. It's something I know how to do, but I'm not sure. If I can, what I, from what I gathered, I don't feel, I, I could hover it, but like we can't Maybe, really. Maybe, can we Google it then? Well, okay, so Let's what Google what you would do is the, the dominant partner would be behind and you would, it would be a sort of like hover and crouch and it's just here. Cause that's all we could do. I went to, I grew up in Orange County. It was a predominantly white area and, and this is all we can do. That feels not right. Yeah. That's called yiking now. The, the okay, kids. slime. <laughs> hey Stevie, what's your favorite time of the year? The time where I get to go to spork.com? That's right, fall. And if you go head over to spork.com, you can see all of the Kitchener's favorite fall picks. I talked about my favorite pumpkin spice coffee and what Nicole talked about is borderline offensive and she may get canceled. So everybody rush over to spork.com, read Nicole's piece, and then tweet at her about it and try and take down her successful career. <laughs> what? What? You think that's not gonna get eyeballs on sporked? Previously, we just mixed American cheese with camembert. We call it camembert and <laughs> so funny. So what we're gonna do today instead is we are actually, we have since learned the chemical breakdown of American cheese and we just learned how to make it ourselves. And we got sodium citrate right here. It's a really powerful chemical. Mm. Don't touch it. Yum. Um, and we're gonna add that to milk and cheese and then some gelatin. And then you're gonna design a sort of swirl. We're making like a, a I shouldn't have eaten that straight. I did it for a bit. Are I don't you know okay? <laughs> I don't know, I don't like it, it tastes funny, it makes my mouth hurt. Uh, we're gonna kind of swirl that into like a Colby Jack situation. You a Colby okay. Jack fan? Yeah, I mean, I know what Colby Jack is. Yeah. Am I a fan? I mean, am I a fan of a lot of anything? Yeah. I don't know. I like that they make like spooky content, like they take other YouTubers to like uh, haunted houses and stuff. Colby Jack? Col Col <laughs> Colby and Jack? <laughs> Trevor. I'm gonna start making our burger here. Why am I um, trying to do a two-handed thing like I know what I'm doing? Sorry, go ahead. You're gonna make the burger now. Like some people would add the liquid first, but not, no, it, not to say, you, no, I, I should have told you, you to. I should have told you, you to. I thought I, I was proceeding I in a line. Fight. I don't wanna have this fight right now. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind the burger. When we originally did this, we did a DNA tested Lone Mountain Wagyu A5. We still have that same Wagyu A5 right here. This is an American Wagyu, but now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add another animal to it. We're gonna add some bison short rib, which this is a really lovely product we got cubed up over here. And then we're gonna take some foie gras. This is fattened uh, duck liver that non-force fed ethically. I'm just saying, if somebody force fed me grain all day, I'd be a happy man. <laughs> Um, um, now, Nicole said I need mm. to touch this with my hand. Yeah, so this is this is actually a jellyfish genitals. And so what you do is you take that and you just, you squeeze it. We learned from GME the term CBT. <laughs> Stop. I'm okay. gonna start dicing this steak up to put in the grinder. Uh, the foie gras fat in the grinder. We've never done that before, but we're all really excited to see what happens. Because uh, this is gonna be a little, a little nutso. I love the things that excite you and the mythical kitchen ears. I heard that little conversation. It was like, oh, it's so cute that you're excited by putting a certain type of meat through a meat grinder. You, you know, know, you like, gotta keep you gotta keep things fresh, and that's how we do yeah. it. We're like, what meats haven't we thrown in the grinder yet? We have here bourbon barrel aged Cristal the beer out of the brewery. One of my favorite breweries. It's it's tough because it's just called the brewery, but it's spelled differently. Uh, and oh my God, I dropped my phone. Stevie, can you come help me find it? Yes. Oh God. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. The phone tastes so good. Why is it warm? What? Let's see if the foie gras comes out. You seen any foie in there? Yeah, there's the yellow. I'm gonna pound up some of these peppercorns. Here we got poiver, poiver gourmet. What language is, what language is this though? Who just spells it peepers? <laughs> hey, here we have uh, peepers premium. Uh, from Moldova. <laughs> Peepers. Uh, M Moldova, favorite Eurovision act. There's one Moldovan guy, his name is, um, what's his name? You all know him, Zdob Si Zdub. You're worried about references you're not gonna get. You're gonna get this one. He's competed in three Eurovisions in three different decades. Taylor, do you Peepers. think? Surely like we can, the Moldovan currency is low enough to where we can buy the rights to Trenotul by Zdob Si Zdub and put it in the edit, right? Oh, I have better Yeah. Finish. I'm sorry, Taylor. Who else would? How many blonde hairs do you think we'll be eating today? Uh, we averaged about 35 to 40 every episode, but here I think, I think we're going hairs? like 42 to 47. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just all Trevor's hair? Uh, yeah. Sorry. 
do you identify as a ginger? I've forgotten what the. Who knows at this point? <laughs> Stevie, do you want do you want me to do the uh, do the honors of creating this cheese monstrosity while you keep bashing? I mean, I guess, Josh, but that was gonna be a really fun thing to do. Well, no, you don't have to be <laughs> passive aggressive. You can be aggressive aggressive about it. Just rest it out of my hands, and then I'll pound this and sound like Carolina Wozniacki. Okay, great. Who will I be ah! sounding like? Ah! 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 Look at that. That's okay, beautiful. now. And now you just gotta like swirl it in. I'm gonna chunk sprinkle. Yeah, and then we can like, uh, you know, do like a little uh, little toe drag in there. Toe drag? Toe drag. Hey, you, do you dip your toe in? You know, like uh, you smash grapes for wine with your feet? That's yeah. how you mix cheeses. You take your, your toenail, because everybody has one long toenail that they keep just for <laughs> just. Just in case they need a sort of sharp tool. You know, open bottles, you know, toe drags and cheese, something, and you're just gonna drag it there. I'm gonna juice that duck. Okay. We got a duck juicer. <laughs> so this is a real, this is the thing we've never done. This is the evolution of fancy fast food. This is 2023, baby, we're living in the future. Um, there is a very fancy, like old school French piece of equipment called a duck press. We looked into buying a whole duck press several thousand dollars. We looked into mm. renting one from a restaurant, mm. still like a thousand dollars. So what we found out, is we can get an industrial sized orange juicer off of Amazon for about a hundred bucks. Oh. <laughs> then you can put a whole duck in it. If it can juice an orange, it can juice a duck. That's what we learned. So we're gonna juice this duck. We're gonna get all his duck juices and then we're gonna reduce it in a pot with a little bit of Pinot Noir de Bourgogne. This is a Burgundy wine. Should have a lot of acid and umami in there. We're gonna get that reducing down. We have to reduce down to a syrup. Stevie, drink that and then regale them the story about the origins of fancy fast food. I'm gonna fabricate this duck. You gotta, mm. you, you, so yeah. I need that whisk. Oh, really? Cause I'm like, I realized the last time you dropped your phone that I'm at the age where bending down and then getting up again is it, great. You need like a cloak. We need like a cloak <laughs> situation where we can drape us with a blanket and then yeah. we can find our phones under the blanket. Or my knees hurt. <laughs> oh, the whisk is all the way over there. All right, I'm gonna start breaking down this duck. So I'm gonna expose the bone. I'm gonna take off that wing. We're trying to get it into smaller parts so juicing it's easier. Steve, do you wanna break the wing? I'm good. Which, all you do is you gotta get your knuckle in there and you just go. It and seems it like it's gonna flick at me. You just kinda rip at it. There you go. And then run the knife through. And easy peasy, now the wing's off. You know? This is a big badonkadonk on this thing. Yeah, no, that's what, that's what I look for in a duck. You know, I like my duck like I like my um, other game fowl, such as pheasants and squab. All right, so now we're just gonna take this, we're gonna kind of break that up. Um, went, so I came in for a job interview that lasted about 12 minutes, and you're like, you, you, you start on Monday, and I was like, great. Um, but I remember in that job interview, I wanted to wear my lucky t-shirt, and uh, I did, but my, this? yeah, but the laundry didn't finish drying, and so I showed up in a soaking wet t-shirt. But I don't remember you showing up in a wet t-shirt for 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's how I get my jobs is, uh, you, you know, you show up in a wet t-shirt. Oh, you're you trying know, you to show woo? The no, 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 no. You're it was like, one you know those... what this lesbian's gonna like. <laughs> <laughs> I burnt all the wine off. I burnt the wine. Which so you're not supposed to do. Definitely not. So oh you gotta hold God. strong. You gotta hold strong. I know, this is well, Jeez. this is what you get if you spend $100 instead of a couple thousand dollars. Well, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm, yeah. I'm scared. Just get up there and with your bare feet, just stand on it. Okay. You really gotta crank it. Hold. Oh my God! I gotta juice it! <laughs> my lord. Hold! This is why the actual ones are expensive. Yeah! This is for oranges! Yeah! No, oh, this even we're getting juice! Oh my God! We're getting God. juice! It's so hard. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh. That's how you juice the duck, ladies and germs. I thought it was supposed to come out as you were doing that, so I was like kind of disappointed, but you really left it for a big, yeah. Reveal. Yeah, yeah. And so we're gonna get all that like duck blood and stuff into the wine that I burnt. We're gonna let that reduce for a second. Woo! I need to go wash myself. Yeah. Yeah. Nicole, what's up? What? Alimento. Wingardium. Add the miso, please. Add the miso. Nicole's oh, very I excited wanna... about the miso. Now, now what? Yeah, add this, add great. this, and then how much of this and this? Nothing's coming out. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's slow. It's, it's what chefs do. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just a pinch? Yeah, well, no, it's, 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 this isn't just a pinch. Look what I'm doing. This is a... You ever watch The Bear? 
Yeah. They drink out of deli cups. Oh my god, it gives me so much anxiety. Yeah, oh. do the same thing with that. Do the but same motion that I did, please. So hot. He is really hot. Look I at that mean. bridging, bridging the lesbian aisle on Jeremy Allen White. Oops, I, I put some. Gems. That's perfect. That's the perfect amount. Okay. That's how you do. That's a good technique. Some of the greens. Don't Just put all the greens. Bit. Yeah, it's pickles. And then do you like a spoonful of that mustard? Taste that mustard first, though. Okay. Did you want me to use my toe, or is my pinky okay? Toe's always preferred, but if you want to cut corners, that's fine. Mm. Okay. Finger the mussy. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. It's a that. cognac infused uh, Dijon mustard. That's gonna add good. a ton of flavor. You know, drop like a solid like teaspoon and a half in there. Okay. Um, we got this duck goo cooking. I'm gonna add the miso to it. <laughs> I don't know. This is one of those things that we're like, listen, we're not gonna test it. We're not gonna juice a whole duck just to see if we can put it in Big Mac sauce because of course you can do that. I've acquired a new tool and it's to blend the duck scum. Oh God, oh, this is gross. It's gonna splash my face, isn't it? Oh, oh. This is the part that grosses you out. Yeah, yeah, no, juice in a duck, I could do that all day, but we kind of just made like a duck body gravy. Can I have some of this? Mm -hmm. I'll put a little bit of this in there, just so we can taste it, so we can sort of like calibrate. Don't you wish that you had like a salt well that was bigger? Stevie, tell him how many fingers you can get in the new mythical <laughs> salt well, show him, show him. All of your fingers. You can put all your fingers in this salt well. We got our bison, wagyu ribeye, and foie gras burger patties. We're gonna season them up with a little bit of Pinot Noir salt. We got that lovely swirled Colby Jack homemade this American is cheese. so fancy. I know, I have no idea what it's gonna salt. taste like either. Like I, it's, this is a true mystery to me. It might I'm suck. I'm excited. That's the fun of it, Stevie, welcome to cooking. This is it, we taught Stevie how to cook. Uh, geez, uh, cheddar, it's use beautiful. science in there, it's beautiful. That's gonna go on there. We got the fanciest lettuce we could find. It's called Iceberg. It's mm. the thing that sank the Titanic, which was very fancy. And then we got some onions. And then, of course, those limoncello, Dolce & Gabbana pickles with our duck juice, burgundy wine special sauce. Okay, so I start assembling on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna go sauce first. And then with each layer, what I like to do is look up and to the left. That's the proper technique. That's what they teach Just you at, at Hamburger U. Yeah. I got how, some... do, how do we feel about the uh, sauce amount that there I've done? Go. Is it too conservative or is no, it? No, that's perfect, that's okay. perfect. And always, you gotta angle things towards the camera, so push a little bit more sauce right up on that edge. That way you put the burger patty down and it angles it right at the camera. That's the most important thing about cooking, there is knowing go. where the camera angles are. Um, then I'm gonna go onions. Holy crap. Holy crap, are you smelling this? This I is am. Dumb. This is dumb. We we did it. We beat the first fancy fast food where we blended sea urchin genitals into it. Then I'm gonna go lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. You know what? It started as a bit, but right now it's not a bit. I'm just oh, I need and then I'm gonna flatten the lettuce. The burger patty should shrink up a lot because there's a lot of foie gras on there. You can already see the foie gras fat melting out of like the corner of that burger. Cheese is the next thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now when I put the good. not pickles on. Should we do two slices? On. I know there's only one slice of cheese on a Big Mac. We can do two slices right here, get a heftier cheese bite. When I look up and to the left, something's telling me we shouldn't do that. I don't fear God. <laughs> wow. That's something. That's That pretty. is something. All right, Stevie, keep building, keep building. Yes. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> yeah, you see those pockets are literally from the foie gras fat Jesus. melting through the meat, which is again something I've never experienced in my life. So pickles only on top then? Huh. Okay. Just a little bit more sauce on the camera side. <laughs> Smart. Onions. Here, I'll juice this burg. Truly gonna be the fattiest burger I've ever eaten. Look at that. Never knew. Pickles. Pickles, pickles, pickles. You want me to avoid the herbs and just go for the pickles? Or do we yeah, want yeah, some avoid the herbage? herbs. Well, eat the herbs, see if they taste good. Eat the herbs? Yeah. What does it taste like? That's so good. Mm -hmm. So that is it, so good. The beef is so fatty, and so we really need something fresh to cut through all that, and that's why we're just adding a full layer of pickles, just like they do at McDonald's. Okay, we feeling good? There we have a fancy Big Mac part two, electric boogaloo. This is what I thought freak dancing was. I thought it was like something like this. No, it's right here. <laughs> okay. So you wanna cave your back and then you kind of arch over so somebody can feel your like hot like breath and Axe body spray 
and they're back. <laughs> Stevie, by God, we've done it. Our beautiful child is here. We got the goose fat tahini buns. We have the patty made from frozen foie gras, bison, and then wagyu ribeye. We have a special sauce made from a bunch of duck juice and burgundy pinot noir, some Kewpie mayonnaise. We got that fancy Colby Jack cheese that you made using hot, nasty, badass science. Then we got some limoncello pickles inspired by Dolce & Gabbana's famous <laughs> campaign. But before we eat that, we gotta eat the original Big Macs. We keep them in a drawer. We just keep these in here all the time for snacking. Oh man, I'm so excited oh. for the fancy one. But this is this is beautiful. Yeah, the beef is a little way. grayer than I remember, <laughs> I remember it. Ooh, it is saucy. It's a big nostalgic flavor sponge from air. I mean, it's good. Do we have napkins on this show? Nope. Okay. All right, slice and a half. Let's see how the cook on that burger is. Wow. It's pretty good. Less gray. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta just oh. hold it. You gotta hold it and My then you gotta unhinge God. your jaw. The middle bun has soaked up so much beef fat. I, this is gonna taste a lot more like a Big Mac than the first one we made five and a half years ago. Oh, this do we, is so overwhelming. We don't do uh, dink it and sink it here. We do hug it and fug it. <laughs> Oh my. Oh? Oh my. My God. Oh my. You are also jealous right now. I can feel it. I'm sorry. Oh. It's so good! Oh, oh God. What it is, is so good. Um, the actual beef patty in here is unfreaking real. Are you feeling, there's like a crunch to the beef, like, like, like a smash burger. You taste the funk and the creaminess of the foie gras in the beef amid all of that duck juice sauce. Oh my God. That's and all it, I can say is it's so good. I gotta do one more like real aggressive bite. It's gotta go. Oh my gosh, there's so much drippage on my arm. <laughs> You're not sucking hard enough when you bite the burger. You gotta do a bite and suck. Ever do a bite and suck? There I go. Well, <laughs> I've been dreading this question mm -hmm. and I don't wanna like I don't wanna leave the headspace that I'm in right now. How much did this cost? Stevie, I'm glad you asked, because this is a bargain at $301.73. Oh. 401 if you include the juicer that we cannot return <laughs> at all. And then when you consider the increased labor costs of everybody in here, I mean, then this is like a several thousand dollar. We used to have a real small team. It was just me hacking up steaks at like 11 at night the night before. You know, it's like, Achievable fancy. It's like maybe like an annual like big celebration fancy. This is mm -hmm. so good. This is like a really special experience for me. And I, I remember exactly what the original Big Mac tastes like. And it was good, but I mean this unequivocally better and tastes so much more like a Big Mac and I think shows the arc that we've gone on in this journey together. And look at you go. Look at the arc you've gone on. I'm so sorry. You ever think you'd be here? After my job interview that you totally remember? Yeah. You're, you look a little bit um, drier than I'm, I totally remember you looking previously. I'm so wet underneath. <laughs> Stevie, thank you so much for cooking with thank me today, you. truly. It was an honor. Thank you all for being here, past, future, present, if you're one of the looper people. Because we all seen loop. Anyways, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Got new videos out every week. You know the drill. You know what time it is. Pumpkin spices in the air and in the food. Check out the Mythical Kitchen's favorite fall products at spork.com.